Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions and today we're going to be talking about rapid palatal expanders or palatal expanders in general. Um, we call them RPEs, all sorts of names for them. This, they come in all different shapes and sizes. They may have things covering the tops of the teeth. They may have some acrylic or plastic on it. They may just be metal. They may be all plastic. But what they generally have in common is they have this kind of, you can't really see it very well here, but there's a kind of a wheel and cog jack screw in the middle that has a key and you as the parent generally activate it. Um, sometimes adult get, get, adults get these, but usually these go to kids who are still growing. Once the child is completely skeletally mature, or that means their bones are mature, that means they're not growing height-wise or jaw-wise anymore, and this can happen anytime between the ages of eight and 17, depending on if they're a boy or a girl and where they are. Um, once they're scaled and mature, generally it doesn't tend to work. Um, there's a few appliances out there that claim that they still work, but it can be really dangerous because you're basically cracking a jaw, you're breaking a bone. And if the child's still growing, the two shelves, the palate is in two pieces. So there's a right and a left piece, and they are still two separate entities, so you can easily stretch them apart. But if the child is done growing, they fuse, just like the other growth plates, and then you're basically breaking a bone. So, and it, it can be, I hate to say it, but there are cases of people who've died, who've hemorrhaged from this. So that is the concern about doing it in someone who's too old, and I don't wanna alarm everyone who's an adult. So generally what happens if you're an adult and you're having this done for whatever reason, um, it. Of course, it has to go at a much slower rate, but it's just going to stretch the teeth, not split the bones. That is what most of the research says. So anyways, that's pretty much what it is. So why do you have this? Why do you have this in? You have this to fix a narrow arch. You have this to fix a posterior crossbite. You have this to hopefully jump a jaw, make an upper jaw move forward. There's all sorts of reasons for this that you might have it. Why do you have a narrow arch? Well, could be due to habits, oral habits, thumb sucking, bottle sucking, lack of breastfeeding, soft diet, um, all sorts of other habits. Could just be growth, could be genetic. There's about 20 different reasons this can occur. And it could be a combination of reasons. So in any case, that's pretty much all about Palo Expanders for you. Hopefully that helps. As for how much to turn and when to turn, that's really up to your doctor. I'm just kind of explaining to you what it is and why we do it. And you know, Sometimes doctors think you need one, sometimes they don't, you might get different opinions. So it's always good to educate yourself on the subject. All right, any questions, make sure you visit Straight Smile Solutions, keep those questions coming. And if your doctor has any questions, they're welcome to visit our site as well and get some coaching sessions. All right, thanks so much, have a great day, bye-bye.